So this is a light bulb that's been in service now for a couple of years. It has a, a fan inside of it, and I thought that that was a very poor design choice because eventually it would plug up with uh, dirt. Um, my home's not particularly dirty, but uh, there's always contaminants in the atmosphere. And uh, as you can see, it's sort of building up around the rim here. Uh, the bulb is starting to sound a bit off, a bit wobbly, so let's uh, take it apart and see what's happened to it. Uh, so here's the fan and then the <laughs> looking inside the assembly. The circuit board wasn't conformally coated, and of course there's now a lot of debris going on to that circuit board. Uh, although it hasn't electrically failed, doesn't look very good. And, and these vents here are uh, utterly plugged with uh, some sort of uh, a dust or dirt. So I suspect there's a real weakness here having a fan. I noticed when I replaced it with, though, the new bulb, the new generation, doesn't seem to use this, and it's probably uh, good from a service life viewpoint. So this here's a close-up of the uh, debris on that circuit board. The problem is it's in the kitchen. I suspect there's grease, and then, then the dirt gets together and uh, creates that kind of lovely coating. Uh, a quick uh, bath with some isopropyl alcohol, though, to strip that all off. And, uh, of course, now the circuit board looking a lot better. And then uh, used a uh, compressed air to push out the dust from all the fins. So let's see the bulbs back together here, and let's just see if it works. And uh, sure. And now it's sounding a lot better. It was sounding pretty, pretty rough there with all the debris inside of it. So I suspect a fan really isn't a great choice, but I know the engineers had a horrific uh, design task ahead of them because this bulb was never meant for, this bulb shape was never meant for such incredibly complicated electronics. So there you go.